Hey everybody, welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel tonight. Going to discuss something a little bit different tonight than we typically do. Uh, for those of you who are just getting here uh, to the channel, if you're not getting these notifications that there's a live stream, you're like, oh man, I missed the live stream again. Well, the reason you're missing it is because you're not clicking the little bell icon down there. So reach down, way down, and grab that little bell icon and hit all notifications. Now, if you've got notifications on your phone and you don't want to have to hear that all the time or hear it going off with all your favorite YouTubers, then just turn the notifications off on your phone, okay? So that's what I do. Um, so I want to talk to you about that real quick before we even get started. So what's up everybody? Andrew, Nick, YFN, uh, AJ, that fix it guy, Brian, first one in here. That fix it guy, uh, his name is Brian, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, we were in the Air Force together. He's starting his own YouTube channel and that kind of inspired today's topic for the video. So we're going to talk a little bit about a question that I get all the time. I've even gotten it from Chad over at North Country Off Grid. Uh, he says, I'm all ears. Chad's been great. Chad's been all ears basically ever since we met. Um, and his channel is growing and it's good. It's a good thing. I'm talking to you guys about this today because it's something I think is important and a lot of folks have asked me, what do I do? How do I get started? What in the world do I do to start a YouTube channel? And even if you're not interested in starting your own YouTube channel, I think this will be a good topic for discussion. Before anybody asks, this is our shirt. If it ain't tight, it ain't right for Stony Ridge Farm fencing. So if you see the little lady right here, that's actually Mrs. Stony Ridge. So don't get offended, okay? If this shirt offends you, I suggest that you probably go ahead and leave the channel because this is just fun and it's a pretty girl leaned up against a fence and there's nothing wrong with that. The silhouette of a woman, in my opinion, is the most beautiful thing that God put on this earth and he put it on this earth for me and for you and for beautiful women and for beautiful men. And <laughs> I don't have anything else to say about it other than I'm tired of getting scolded by people for having a shirt that they deem inappropriate when it's actually everyone was born from the womb of a woman, a woman just like this. There's my rant. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> I, I'm, I, uh, I've been in here in the office today working all day long on videos and, uh, and answering comments and replying to comments and stuff like that. And it's easy to be ripped apart on YouTube uh, by folks, just a random guy coming by, you know, uh, and they don't like this shirt. Uh, a lot of uh, females, a lot of women that watch this show watch the YouTube channel don't like this shirt. Well, I don't understand because you're a woman and this is empowering women everywhere. Build fences, build them right, build them tight. That's it. And she's got a tight body. That's that I like to think of that as Mrs. Stony Ridge. She's with me all the time whenever I'm building fences. <laughs> I hope you guys are getting a chuckle out of this. <laughs> Let me move my light over here just a little bit so I'm not getting shadows blasted all over my face. Behind the scenes, behind you guys, are a set of lights and also a uh, screen back here that has your comments and threads going by. So, they will rip you because you have two eyes and only one nose. Yeah, man. Uh, you're, you're a constant target as a YouTuber, that's for sure. Uh, I didn't set out... To, let's get into the topic here. I want to talk to you guys about the topic here. And hopefully, if you're in here now, hang out. Let's see if we can pile up. So typically on a, on a live stream, I have somewhere in the neighborhood of 3,600 people come through. Stay in here, man. Let's build it up. The most I've ever had is about 550 viewers on a live stream. So I realize a lot of folks go to church on Wednesday nights, and we miss those people, and I hate that, and I'm sorry. Uh, however, <laughs> I was I, I was going to do the live stream at 9 o'clock tonight, and I was just so super duper tired. Uh, I've been out working, and I've been working in here. The Mechanic, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you very, very much. Okay, so let's talk about um, building a YouTube channel. Let's talk about what this is, what it entails, and how it happened, and how it continues to grow and perpetuate itself. Make no mistake about it, guys. Let's see. I hear you. Only one person. I'm uh, clicking some stuff. That fix-it guy. Where are you at, buddy? There you are. 
Let me click you real quick, and I'm going to make you my only moderator I've ever made in the history of my YouTube channel, I think. <laughs> Don't hold me to that. So, how to build a YouTube channel. So a lot of you guys that watch the channel are homesteading, that you're building a farm, or you have a farm, and you're thinking about posting YouTube videos, and most of you, I would say a whole lot of you probably have, probably 30% of you have have posted a YouTube video. Let's tell me in the comments sliding by here, you know, who, who's made a YouTube video? Katie Hill Farmer, I know you've made a YouTube video, so thanks for taking the time to answer your questions. Yep, I think he, I think he sent me an email the other day. I'm, I, uh, so to build a YouTube channel, first of all, you've got to have some content and something that's interesting. Uh, having a YouTube channel, and I've never discussed any of this on the, on my channel here, so this is all totally new to me, but having a YouTube channel means having something that's going to be your baby. It's going to be something that you love, something that you care about, and you care about the people that watch your YouTube channel. And I may be the only person that's ever going to talk to you guys about this and truly come from the heart and tell you the reason I'm here on a live stream right now is because of you guys. It's not for me, it's for you. I enjoy the live streams. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, I've hit 500 already, says Heavenly Hill Farm. I get a little sidetracked on those comments. So, my YouTube channel started out, my first video was me working on my Woods uh, BB-72 brush hog. I pulled the blades off and sharpened the blades. I walked out that day out of the house and decided what the name of the farm was going to be. I decided what the name of the YouTube channel was going to be and who I was going to be. I decided all of that within a five minute period. By the way, this is my buddy, Farm All Fanatic, back here in the background. That's a commercial on Farm All Fanatic's channel. There we go. There he is. Um, I like to do that. I like to give people shout outs. So big shout out to Farm All Fanatic. He always comes in. I like his stuff. He, he always comes in and throws a super chat. He's just a great guy. Um, so let's talk about the YouTube channel. So to build a YouTube channel, to build a successful YouTube channel, I want you guys to know if you're trying right now, I started my YouTube channel. It took me seven months to have 1,000 followers. Seven months to have 1,000 followers. You can look back through. I reposted farm vlog number 10 today on the YouTube community page on Stony Ridge Farm. It, it takes so much time. I worked as a registered nurse in the hospital um, since we bought our farm. And even before that, I worked what's called PRN as a registered nurse. PRN means as needed uh, in the nursing world. And I worked and I got paid a premium pay for not having a, a guaranteed job. So uh, that's what I did as a nurse. So I could work two days a week and get paid like I worked a full-time job and continued to produce these YouTube videos. Jamie Gregory, a new channel member. Thank you so much, Jamie. Uh, man, I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, Jamie... Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't wait to meet you too, buddy. SLC Farms 499 Super Chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so to start your own YouTube channel and to grow your following, you need to post a video. I've been working with a few people like Chad from North Country Off Grid. I love Chad. I love his family. I love what he's about. He's a good fella. He's a good guy. They're good people. Uh, that fix-it guy, I've been working with him. He's a great guy. They're just good people, and I like them, and I, and I don't mind helping. Now, I don't want to get a pile of 100 emails here. Uh, I actually started a side business consulting uh, for people that want to build a YouTube channel. There you go, Brian. Brian, I see you moderated. Uh, so, it takes work. It takes time. It took me approximately 60 hours of we a week of learning how to edit, learning how to publish, and learning how to get my YouTube videos up. It's not going to happen like this. Katie Hill Farmer is a new member. Thank you so much, Katie Hill Farmer. Two new members. That's the most members I've ever gotten in a live stream. That is so super cool. If you guys don't know what channel memberships are, it's another way you can support the channel. Um, it, it, I think it costs like $4.99 a month, and you're basically a member of the channel, and you'll get some perks here and there, but really you're, you're doing that because you care about what we're doing here and the content that we're making. So it took, again, seven months for me to hit 1,000 followers. We have 330 
something, 332,000 followers right now. Did I ever think it would get there? No way. Do I hope for a half a million? Absolutely. Is YouTube a business? It is a business that helps support my farm and my family and my dream and my home and my life. And I dedicate myself to it. And that's what it takes to run a YouTube channel. It takes your entire life every waking minute and sometimes every sleeping minute of your life is dedicated to content. It's dedicated to thinking about the next thing that might come up. It's dedicated to thinking about what we're going to do on the farm and how I can present that to you guys so that you can learn from what I'm doing. So that's what having a YouTube channel is all about and that's what it takes to grow a YouTube channel. Put out good content, put out quality content, you, there's no magic feather for this. There, There's no magic feather that's going to make Dumbo fly. You're just going to have to put out good content that people like, and that's what matters the most. So I wanted to open the, uh, <laughs> the uh, air up for discussion and talk to you guys about that because my YouTube channel is my baby. It's my life. It's, it's what I do. I wake up in the morning and I think about what I'm going to do with this social media business. It is a social media business here on YouTube. And, and that's what it is. So in the last few weeks, we've had a lot of awesome things happen on the channel uh, behind the scenes. So YouTube reached out to me probably a month ago and said, Josh, um, not a month ago, Google reached out to me probably a month, month and a half ago and said, Josh, we've noticed what you're doing on the farm. They interviewed, I don't know how many other, 100 other YouTube channels or, or creators that were in this genre, and they chose us here on our farm to come in and shoot a documentary about, I say documentary, to shoot a video about um, um, sustainability and what we're doing on the farm, because what we're doing is something really special. And I think the guys that came here, there was a film crew here for about five days, and I'm really excited about it. It was super awesome and super flattering. Adler Farms is another new member. Wow, four members today on... I'm, I'm super flattered, guys. Thank you so much for, for joining up and, and being a member of the channel. Spread the word. The best thing you guys can do and the best thing anybody who's starting a YouTube channel can do is be genuine and spread the word about the channel. If you guys want to help... Share my videos on your Facebook with like-minded people. Uh, it, it really makes a huge difference. You are the reason why this channel is growing. So please, I respect that and I really appreciate it and I want to let you guys know. This is what you're seeing right back here is the next video. Uh, that Something that's coming out this weekend. Uh, we're going to my dad's house. We're picking up a tractor and <laughs> you're getting a whole lot of teaser right here. So what, what that is is... Uh, uh, I'm talking about my home, where I grew up, how I grew up, everything uh, to that effect. So looks like Farmall Fanatic is back here looking at a John Deere 250 skid steer, similar to the one we just bought. Um, so we got some skid steer stuff coming up this weekend, some more tractor content stuff coming up this weekend, and we've got baby chicks coming up this weekend. So $1.99 Super Chat. AJ, thank you so much. What tractor is it? Ooh. You'll have to watch a video, buddy. Spoiler alert. It's an old Massey Ferguson, but not that old. It's a rare tractor. It's going to be a fun video for sure. Um, not a lot of education, but a little bit more of my story about where I grew up and how I grew up. And I grew up, uh, dad wanted to live off the land and I grew up that way. And, and I moved away from the farm and I have dad wanted nothing to do with the farm and and I felt a calling back to the land and that's why I'm here and I'm 42 years old. I felt that calling when I was about 28 years old and we started an urban farm in the city of Greensboro, North Carolina where I basically fed the entire neighborhood. Ohio Farm Life, mind giving my channel a shout out? Check it out sometime. I'll show your comment, brother. Ohio Farm Life, you're on our, I, I messaged you on uh, YouTube, so we have a, uh, I mean on Facebook, we have a Facebook channel and a Facebook group. 
the Facebook group is a place where people can post different things and pictures and stuff like that. I suggest that you don't post every one of your YouTube videos there. You'll get flagged uh, by someone uh, for spam. So just so you know, it's kind of moderated by everybody that's a part of that. So just so you know, Ohio Farmer, that's, that's why I shot you an email. I don't mind you posting a few videos here and there, and it's not... Again, it's a group, so it's for everybody. But if everybody came in and posted every one of their videos, it would kind of take away from the group, I feel like. So that's it. That's good. So anyway, Google came. Oh, we're, we're buffering. <laughs> there we go. We stopped buffering. So Google came to the farm for a few days. They shot a bunch of video. It was super awesome. Tracy Born Again Farm Girl is a new member too. Gosh, thank you guys so, so much. That's so awesome. Um, they shot a video. I don't, I'm not sure exactly when it's going to come out, but I will announce it on the channel. It's going to be super big. It's like uh, the boss coming to your place. So three weeks ago, YouTube reached out to me, uh, a gentleman from YouTube, and they spoke about farm content and how farm content on YouTube is on an upswing that you guys are following farm content and uh, that allowed me the opportunity to go down and YouTube uh, asked me to fly down to the Commodity Classic um, down in uh, the Commodity Classic down in San Antonio, Texas. So that's where I was last week at this time. I was on a plane flying to Texas so I couldn't do a live stream and uh, I totally enjoyed that. I got to meet, uh, gosh, and I please, I hope I don't forget anybody, but I got to meet uh, Meredith, this farm wife, uh, Tony with Fast Ag Montana, the Welker boys with Welker Farms, uh, Zach, the Millennial Farmer, and Tara, and I, gosh, I am, Tara's going to kick my butt for forgetting her channel name but um i'll post it down in the in the video description i'll remember it i swear <laughs> but she is very sweet everybody was so cool it was just so neat to meet all those youtubers and those are the big ag big time most of the the guys are the big ag big time um uh, farm channels and it was it was super fun to meet those guys and get their perspective and talk about youtube stuff so Beaver Vineyard, there you go. S. Purcell, thank you. Uh, Tara with Beaver Vineyard. And she's a, a young lady that's starting a vineyard. And she does a Mental Health Monday every week where she talks about farmers and mental health. It's pretty cool. Very cool. Welker boys are big time. Yep, they're they're good good dudes, man. Tommy Ellison, 299 Super Chat. Woo! I'm, I forgot to do my woos, man. <laughs> AJ, Lucas... $1.99 Super Chat. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> so cool, man. So anyhow, that, that's it. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how to build a YouTube channel. We're going to take some questions and stuff now and just kind of have an interactive chat uh, with you guys. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. I'm going to say every waking minute of every day that I wake up, I'm thinking about what's going on on YouTube. And the, the reason that I'm talking to you about this is because it's tough unless you're doing it. It's tough to understand if you're not doing it. And when I got to meet all these guys like Welker Farms and Zach Millennial Farmer, and uh, when I got to meet these guys, I realized the life that they live is basically the same as the life that I live. When you're out working and you're working on the farm, it's great content and it's great stuff for you guys to see and for you guys to learn from. And I feel guilty if I don't do it. They interviewed me up there on the stage, and I told people, you know, if I didn't have the YouTube channel, if I didn't have this to share with you guys, I don't know what I'd do. I really honestly don't know what I would do. Something would be a void in my life. This has become part of my life, and I really love it. I really love it. It, it gives me the motivation to get out of bed in the morning and go kick butt on the farm, so... Seeds and Sanity, $9.99 Super Chat. Thank you. I wonder if people would care if I wore that shirt in my videos. I think I should. New to your channel. Love, love binging it. Jessica in Tampa. You can wear this shirt. We had a discussion about the shirt earlier. Um, and 
if the figure of a beautiful woman offends you, just remember where you came from. Okay? It's it's fun, it's cute, it's not meant to be offensive and dirty, it's just supposed to be fun and cute. And that's what it's all about, okay? Robert Sprouse, $10 Super Chat. Woo! Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. Um, Fred says hello from the foothills of North Carolina. Yes, sir. Show us your play buttons, Stony Ridge Farmer. Well, I... You know how Grandma likes to keep the plastic on the couch? <laughs> I, uh, my play button's in its box. This is water. Hang on one second. Let me grab the play button. There's only one play button. You get a play button, that fix it guy. Brian, a play button is what you get. Guys, tell them what it is while I grab it. It's for hitting 100,000 subscribers, Brian, and I, I got this, uh, I have record of it somewhere, but it was last year sometime, uh, and this is, see what I mean by keeping it in the plastic? It's something I'm so super proud of, and once we build our permanent home, then I will display it proudly, but this is the play button from YouTube. That's what this is. So that is, you see how obsessive I am about, like it had some dust on it and I just blew it off. It's something that I'm, it's one of the things that I'm the most proud of in my life. It really is. And I don't know if that's sad or if that's awesome, but um, this is, this has been an awesome, awesome ride. Uh, these are the flyers that were passed out um, at the farm show this weekend and a hey, welcome to farm tube so if you think for one second that youtube isn't supporting rural content you are absolutely 100 percent wrong right here at the very top of the list justin rhodes you can't see it white house on the hill weed them and reap millennial farmer farmer and stony ridge farmer right here now we've since a lot of these have changed a whole lot, but they're supporting the rural content, guys. They like the farm content. They see that it means something to people, so it's super awesome. Thank you, Farmer Steve. Man, I've been looking for Farm All Fanatic. Has he been in here tonight? I've got him playing in the background right here, and he's not even here? <laughs> oh, goodness. I wonder if he'll notice. Uh... Does YouTube support OLF? I don't know. Um, Mark, I don't know, to be honest with you, but they support farm content. So, uh, AJ, once again, have you ever considered quitting YouTube? I just got done saying, brother, I can't imagine my life without it. I'm not going to quit. I don't care how many comments that are horrible and hateful come through. I'm not going to quit. I love what I do. In 10 years from now, I want to still be doing this. I love it. I absolutely love it. It is a motivation for us to build our farm. It's a motivation for me to learn. It's part of my motivation. I'm a very inward motivated person. I, I'm motivated by myself in a lot of ways. So no, no way, man. Uh, congratulations on your major, even though it's not a leg lamp. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Eating ice cream and watching Stony Ridge Farmer. Christopher White. I ate all the ice cream last night. I gotta stop that, man. So, no more snacks. <laughs> Scott, hello from Stanton, Virginia. Hey, Scott. We'll be up that way sometime in May? Uh, May? July. July? Polyface. Polyface Farm. Uh, Mother Earth News Fair. So, I've been asked to speak at Mother Earth News Fair at three of their news fairs, which would be super cool. Um, Josh, you should purchase, Josh, you purchase any more cattle, Katie Hill Farmer. No, not yet. Uh, I do have two more cows coming. Uh, they are young heifers and that would make, we have seven, so that would make nine. We have three pregnant cows, so 10, 11, 12. Uh, the goal by December 31st of next year is to have 20 cows, but I want to make sure that, uh, that we have enough uh, land to support them, so. Uh, Justin Thurston says, Willis, question mark, $100 truck, question mark, a deer hunter, question, no, Meyer Hatchery, question mark, 
Lots of questions. So we're working with Murray McMurray Hatchery this year. Um, they're nice people. They're good people. And I think variety is the spice of life. What's the next big project? Big old wave. Um, I do have parts for the uh, Earl the tractor, the old 65, Massey Ferguson 65. So we're going to be repairing that soon. Everybody, please hit that like button before you roll out the door. I see people coming in and coming out. I appreciate you. Please pound that like button. Um, where are you going to put your loading chute and working pin? So back here behind the house, I actually had some conversations today or yesterday with uh, an expert in the field of uh, working pins and, and uh, materials that would be involved in that, and they're going to come to the farm. So we're working through that. Uh, Josh, da, da, da. and that's Tartar, Tartar Farm and Ranch. So we're working through that with Tartar Farm and Ranch, and we're going to talk a whole lot about them when they when they come here to the farm because we want to discuss um, what the different levels of material that you buy from uh, your your farm store for gates and stuff like that from Tartar Farm and Ranch. And most of the time, folks uh, are buying the light duty, the lightest of the light, and expecting it to hold up like the heaviest of the heavy. And we had that conversation yesterday. Uh, with the tartar folks so uh, we'll be visiting the tartar ranch there is a ranch that actually is associated with those guys and we'll be learning a whole lot about cattle cattle handling and cattle handling facilities so can't wait to learn it can't wait to teach it here on the on the farm channel it's going to be super cool um we do have puppies um if i how many people want me to go get a puppy <laughs> tony smith 20 dollars super chat thanks for your content plant some more tomatoes for me um thanks man thank you so much oh battery power down to 15 percent on the tablet back here hey just wondering are you a deer hunter william bell yes i am a deer hunter i like having deer meat in the freezer buddy i did not i only got to hunt one time this year i've just been super duper busy running all over everywhere um Hey Josh, I have a 10 acre hobby farm. Would you recommend a tractor or a skid steer? I think you need a tractor first, brother. Um, if I had to do it again, I would have bought a nice skid steer and I would have bought an, a farm tractor like my Massey Ferguson 240. But we need two loaders on the farm here. One to load up hay on one side of the farm and one to unload hay on the other side. So um, take it slow. Don't, don't bury yourself up to your eyeballs in debt. Um, yeah, just take it slow. Mark J, $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much. Thank you for answering my dumb question mark. We drunk here. Oh, poor fella. <laughs> poor fella. Uh-oh. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab a puppy. Be right back. Lexi had puppies about three weeks ago. They are so cute. Time out. <laughs> I think the puppy peed on me. I think he peed on me. Come on, little buddy. Are you going to pee? <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. What you cutest little thing you've ever seen in my life. So Lexi is a German Shepherd and Buddy is a German Shepherd. And look at this big yawn. Give me a big yawn. You want some milk? <laughs> um, it's okay, little fella. He's a little skittish. There's a big puppy yawn. Nothing like puppy breath. Um, what happened to Vinny? Vinny is not my Ventrac. I'll tell you that. Vinny is... Uh, what you doing? Let me put him back up. I'm going to put him back up. I'm going to name him. What are we going to name you? I'll be right back. We'll talk about the Ventrac. Oh, puppy. Okay, <laughs> puppies are puppies are back. <laughs> Everybody's cool. Mama was getting a little antsy about that. So, uh, Ventrac. My Ventrac is not named Vinny. That's Tractor Time with Tim's Ventrac. Uh, I, we bought the Ventrac. So, 
We had a Farm All Fanatics finally here. Hold on. Look back here. Farm All Fanatic. I've had you playing the whole time, dude. Come on, where you been? <laughs> so, um, Ventrac, Vinny. So, Vinny is Tractor Time with Tim's Ventrac. I, our Ventrac is the Honey Badger. Uh, you guys named it the Honey Badger. So, um, Farm All Fanatic, thank you for the super chat, buddy. I appreciate it. The Honey Badger will go anywhere and don't care. It will do anything. It's an awesome tractor, and we ended up buying it at the end of the season this year. So we bought the Ventrac with the finish cut deck on it, the brush cut cutting deck on it, and the stump grinder. So you haven't seen the stump grinder on the channel yet, but it's coming soon because we've got some trees that we need to cut and for building trails, and we're gonna be utilizing the stump grinder. So we did come out of pocket and buy the Ventrac outright. So it is ours. And I don't know if you guys know or not, but Ventrac, the company Ventrac was bought by Toro. So recently bought by Toro. Heavenly Hill Farm is throwing up the dollar signs. Um, you know, a used Ventrac, so it, it was considered a used Ventrac. So um, yeah, it costs money. <laughs> it costs money to have a farm. It just does. And that's just it. So for sure. Uh, if you guys don't know what the Ventrac is and you're not subscribed to the channel, jump in, subscribe to the channel. You'll see what the Ventrac is. Um, somebody just did a new channel member. I have a farm. Adler Farms is a new channel member. Says he has a new farm and a new channel and I inspired it. That's awesome. Thank you. It's a constant driving drive making videos and you're having fun. That's what it's all about, brother. That's what it's all about. And also it provides a record. So today I went back through and looked at about five of my old videos and just looked back at what the farm used to look like. If you're a big fan of the Stony Ridge Farm channel, go back and look at some of the older videos and watch me stumble through it and struggle and look at the change that's happened. Uh, the, the metamorphosis of the channel. It's been super awesome and the farm. Uh, some of the old clearing land videos, man, they were super duper, uh, super duper choppy, but we're learning and I was learning and I'm still learning. So I'll look back on what I did last week and in, uh, in five years from now, I'll be like, man, what were you doing, dude? <laughs> so it's funny. Josh, do you mushroom hunt? General vlog video. No, sir. I don't know what mushroom is what, and I'll tell you what my dad did. So dad had this little mushroom book and he went out in the yard and thought he had the right mushrooms and he cut them up and he put a little bit on a piece of pizza uh, that he cooked at home and it did fine. And he's like, oh man, that was absolutely delicious. So he, my mouth is watering. I love mushrooms. So dad went and uh, picked a bunch more mushrooms, cut them up and put them on the whole piece of pizza and ended up having to call 911 and going to the hospital for a few days and having to take the charcoal down the throat to get rid of the poison from the mushrooms. So, no. I am growing some general vlog video. Yes, I am. We're growing shiitake mushrooms uh, this year, and I'll probably branch out into some other mushrooms for sure. Um, but for now, I don't have enough education to go uh, intelligently picking wild mushrooms and eating them without going to the hospital. So I want to make sure if I do wild mushrooms, I need an expert to go with me, to teach me, and to show me the uh, uh, ropes. Blackberry Ridge says mushroom ER fun. <laughs> yeah, for dad. $2.99. <laughs> That's funny, man. That's funny. <laughs> See you later, Tracy. Yep. Um, <laughs> so any other questions you guys have any other questions there's 300 people in here let's see if we can get them likes up to 300 if you're not subscribed if you're just cruising through youtube and you see somebody that's live and you never heard of them before you're coming into the stony ridge farm channel welcome welcome to the channel tractors trucks and pups says something wrong with Something wrong today, Josh. Don't seem as alive as you usually are. Are you tired? I am exhausted, brother. I am absolutely exhausted. Um, I've, I've been traveling a whole lot, and I, I don't like to leave home. I honestly, uh, when I travel, I feel out of place. I don't feel... I, I love being here. I love being on the farm. I, I love what I do here. And I, I, 
love my job as a nurse too. I'm not in the hospital much at all anymore and I miss that. I really do. Um, what's this guy saying? Holy cow, what? Heritage Oaks Farms just gave a hundred dollar super chat. Holy crap, man. Uh, Heritage Oaks Farms, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's unbelievable. Wow. Channel members, I think four or five channel members today and it's for the Shroom ED Fund for Dad. <laughs> That's so funny, man. <laughs> so if we keep building up enough Super Chats, I'll just go eat whatever mushroom there is. <laughs> not a, I don't think so. It's not appealing to me to have to drink the charcoal. And uh, I've worked in the emergency room and had to give, like, that's what you give for poisons, partic some particular poisons, is uh, you put a tube in the nose and down the hatch with some liquid charcoal, which s sucks up and absorbs all those poisons. Jane Sadler, seed Cedar, or Cider, hopefully I'm not mispronouncing your name. How do you become a channel member? There's a little thing down there beside Stony Ridge Farmer that says join, and you click that, and that's how you do it, so... Mechanic Mike's in the house. Oh, also met another cool dude. I met a bunch of cool dudes. Uh, where is his heart? He took it out to the shed. To the shed. Uh, uh, I'll give him a shout out next time. <laughs> um, I think it's Farmhand Mike. Farmhand Mike? You guys know Farmhand Mike? Well, if you don't know that Fix It guy, you need to check out that Fix It guy. <laughs> He's my buddy. Uh, Brian is one funny dude. I'm going to tell you that right now. He is a funny guy. Absolutely hilarious. It's coming through in his videos, and you can see as he starts to blossom as a YouTuber. He did my 30 videos in 30 days YouTube boot camp, and uh, he's a funny dude. He's starting to come out of his shell. Um, Brian lives in Seattle area in Washington and was telling me all the crazy stuff that's going on in Washington right now with this uh, new illness that I can't speak of on YouTube, evidently. Uh, so, Massey Full Restore. So, anyway, he's saying that the grocery stores are empty. People are walking around in gas masks and stuff. It's just crazy up there. I don't... That's nuts. Um, full restoration of the Massey in the future? I don't really think so, Darcy. Darcy Jen. Um, I think we're going to get it up. We're going to get it running. We're going to use it on the farm. we got to get a new set of tires for it. Um, and, yeah, I think that's what the plan is right now. How do I get my videos out to a bigger crowd? Make good content. And that's it. Make good content. And that'll do it. It just takes time, man. You can't just, it just doesn't happen like that. Mark J, $2. <laughs> My wife is on her way home. <laughs> that was her text. Uh, Mark J, $2 super chat. My dogs eat the coals from the wood stove. Is that bad? Your dogs have worms, buddy? Animals do that. So animals eat charcoal. Animals will eat uh, eat char or burnt wood uh, if they uh, it's an it's a it's a natural dewormer. Uh, anybody else have any input on that? Please share it. Can we get a video every other week of you singing and strumming? <laughs> Maybe post some of your music on Apple Music. If I had time. Uh, we could do something like that. I've, I've been offered some studio time by a gentleman that, that lives not too far away. I've been offered a little studio time. It's a matter of just pulling together people. And, uh, you know, I was in a band for a long, long time. So SLC Farms, thank you so much. A new member, new channel member, SLC Farms. Um, so, yeah, uh, for for music, I, I, I probably have about 15 original songs um, that... I've worked on in, in the past and I'd love to cut an album. That would be super duper fun. It'd be interesting to take a YouTube channel and then all of a sudden I become a country singer. That <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows what the world brings for us? Uh, county line farming. The reason your comment got held for review count county line farming is because you're spamming. You're spamming. So you got to be slick, man. So if you want to promote your YouTube channel, let's go back again to how to how do you grow your YouTube channel. 
If you want to promote your YouTube channel, then go in and leave comments on channels that you follow that are bigger than yours. Leave comments that are genuine. Like, I got baby chicks on my farm and you got baby chicks on your farm. So you say, man, Josh, your chicks sure are cute. We just got some cuties over on our farm on our channel. You should check it out. Boom. A relevant comment that doesn't get flagged. That's, that's the way it works. So you've got to put some heart into it, brother. Put a little heart into it. Um, SLC Farm says, took me a minute to figure out how to join. Well, thanks for joining, brother. Thank you. Gosh, that, that $100 super chat. Let's give him a big round of applause. Everybody give him a woo. The man that left the $100 super chat. Heritage Oaks. That's insane. Everybody give him a round of applause. Holy cow, man. That's unbelievable. Thank you so much. What song did you use on the skid steer vid where you took the tracks out off the truck? So a lot of those songs are, are uh, YouTube has a, a list of songs that are that don't, don't require any uh, uh, copyright type stuff. So they're, they're free to use. And a lot of the songs that I use on the channel like intermittently throughout the videos and I got fussed at by the way by a viewer the other day I don't like that when you're talking and there's music in the background you're I can't hear anything <laughs> so, I got that comment I think it brings value to the content and I think it kind of makes things flow a little a little easier so a lot of that stuff is just free music that is available to anyone on YouTube. If you've got a YouTube channel, you go into the create uh, space and it'll have an audio library in there and there's a lot of stuff in there. It doesn't have any words to it. It's just music. Cool. Josh, don't conform. Put your own music out. Man, I don't have enough time, dude. <laughs> I don't have enough time. So the few, uh, most of my stuff, like the intros and the outros and some of the stuff in the middle um, is me. However, I've got to get some studio time behind good microphones and bring a band together and all go into the studio and produce those songs. So uh, that's it. Editing software seems to be a big hold up in, in being able to make good content and to be able to get your channel to grow. Jessica Johansson. Johannesson. Jessica is absolutely 1000% not true. I, the other guys that I see that are in the homesteading, they have these big old heavy DSLR cameras and they're carrying around this gigantic rig and it's, grrr, and they're using, they're paying a monthly fee for their, you know, like $70 a month for their Adobe Premiere Pro editing software. And I have a $50 editing program here. It's about the content. It's not about the software, the hardware. I use what what makes my life easy. So, <clears throat> let's see here. So, editing software is not the key. I mean, it's not the key. You can do it iMovie. You can do uh, Apple. Uh, what is it? Apple's iMovie? And you can do Microsoft Movie Maker. And I probably my first twenty videos are on Microsoft Movie Maker until I upgraded three and a half years ago to a $50 program and it does exactly what I need it to do. It's a little sluggish at times. Um, I do have a powerful computer in order to do all this stuff because when you're editing video it takes a lot of computer. So Farm All Fanatic says I, I run my entire channel off of my phone. There you go. A lot of people do that. I cannot do that. There's no way I could do that. Um, enjoyed the video you did with Greg Judy says Terry Terry, I had a blast out there with Greg Judy. So behind the scenes when we did our live stream, we were talking for probably two hours before then and two hours after then. I gave Greg a lot of tips and pointers on his channel, and I actually uh, mailed Greg a gimbal for his uh, cell phone so that it would hold it steady for him to take out a little bit of the shake that goes in there. And Greg does everything off of his cell phone, and it's kind of off the cuff, on the fly. He just walks out. And he thinks about what he's going to talk about, and he goes out and he does it. And I think it's super awesome. I told him, don't mess with your recipe, dude. You've got something super special. What you're doing is great. So, Jessica Johan Johansson says, we tried, ain't working. Um, keep keep plugging away at it. You're not gonna you're not gonna be you're not gonna have three hundred thousand subscribers overnight. Um, 
You're not going to have a thousand subscribers overnight. Uh, Brian, my buddy, that fix it guy, he's going through those struggles. And no matter how many people give you a shout out or how many comments you do, and it's just all about everything, pulling it all together and making good content that's interesting. Sometimes I watch myself when I'm editing and I think to myself, is this boring? Is this boring? If it's boring to you when you're editing it, it's going to be boring uh, to other people. So the struggle is real. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Brian. It takes time and it does take time. And there's nobody out there that has the magic feather that's going to make you I'm so super popular on YouTube. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Um, do you have a favorite video of yours? and why asked Tina I my my newest video is always my favorite new video uh, really uh, I, my favorite series was uh, uh, working with the hogs with my dad um, I like the chicken processing videos uh, I really enjoy doing that um, I think I I bring something different to the table than any other youtuber does uh, in that in that genre uh, the the three part three or four part series um, that we're doing with my dad on uh, how to how to uh, process a hog the old Appalachian way that that's probably my favorite uh, bunch of video videos uh, is the headlight video still your most it never was my most viewed video uh, and it's still not my most viewed video but it, it did blow up that, that was cool so I did some headlight cleaning and it hit a million views in a couple weeks which was it was awesome it was great but you're not gonna get that all the time Nick Pixel TV, $5 super chat. Woo! Nick says, I have a few videos that may help showing the same thing you're talking about. Also, looking to help. Cheers from PA, my friend. Cool. See, that's how you bring in a shout out to your channel in a slick way. Nick, you're Nick, you, buddy. <laughs> I like it, buddy. That's what you do. That's what you do. That's how you grow your channel. You gotta be smart. You gotta be slick. You gotta have fun. Share your videos on other people's, uh, um, on other people's, like homesteading, uh, Facebook groups and stuff. Share that stuff. It's good. So, um, I agree on the hog processing. Thank you, Barry. Thank you so much. Um, we'll take a couple more questions and then we're going to bounce out. We've been on here for 47 minutes. I say bounce out like I just did a magic trick. <laughs> um, slick Nick, Blackberry Ridge says Slick Nick. Um, did you say what you use for editing? I use, <clears throat> excuse me, I use a program called Cyberlink Power Director. It is not used by any other person that I've ever met that makes YouTube videos. Um, but it's super duper simple and it's really easy to use. And if you're making movies with Microsoft Movie Editor, it will, it just kind of is almost exactly the same. It's very, very easy to use. I like it a lot. Uh, looked up the song. Okay. How was the Alamo meetup? Uh, Roger, Alamo meetup was a little slow. Only... I had uh, 1.6 thousand people to, what was it, 6% of those people said that they would be there. So I anticipated mm, 15 to, to 50 people and two people came, which is fine, man. I got to spend time with fans and that was what it was all about. So um, that, that was more what it's all about. I, it's not about quantity. It's about just being able to meet those people. And they made an effort to come out and it was super cool. Posted a, a photo of them on Instagram. Um, if you're not following us on Instagram and Facebook, please jump in there and follow us. It's it's uh, There's some little snippets of stuff over there that you don't get on the YouTube channel. Like I can't post pictures so much on the YouTube channel. So what's your favorite song? Oh no. I don't know, man. I like all kinds of music. So trucks, Tractors, Trucks, and Pups says he uses a power director. Another slick one, buddy. Got her in there, didn't you? That's good. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, can we get some likes on this live stream, says AJ. AJ, thank you. You always make it rain on the, on the Super Chats. Thank you so much. How did I start YouTube? Kendall Mitchell. Uh, I started my YouTube channel. I walked out the door, came back in. Grabbed my little camera, it was about that big, and I went out and made a video. 
And I made up the name for the farm that day, and I made up the name for the YouTube channel that day, and it all started right then. Um, wish you could have. Brandon says he wish he could have made it to the Alamo. It's all right, man. It was a weekday, and if it would have been like a Saturday morning, I'm sure a lot more people would have showed up. But it, it was a weekday. It was a Friday morning, and I flew out that night from San Antonio. So I was a little nervous about traveling with all the what's going on in the world right now. Um, I was very, very nervous. Barney says he misses popcorn videos. Me too. Me too. And I want to get it out and get 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 the tractor out of the shop and start working on popcorn the Willis Jeep again. You are classic cool like George Strait. I see you playing the, liking that music. I do like me some old George Strait for sure. For sure. Are you planning on building a house on your farm? You darn right, but I don't know what kind of house. We looked at log houses. We looked at uh, uh, barn dominium type houses. I think a barn dominium would suit me well, and I think it would suit the channel well as we build a, a barn dominium type home. That would be awesome. Um, they need to make the like button accessible, accessible in the chat. Yeah. Oh, so you could like someone's comment. That'd be interesting. Um, I remember your first video back then, the Cajun Homesteader. <laughs> it's pretty, it's a struggle. <laughs> I was slimmer <laughs> and I didn't have gray hair. And no gray hair. Three years. Aged a brother. <laughs> yes, a big barn house would be cool. It would be cool. We're going to go small on our house, man. I... I don't want to, I, I plan to go small on our house. Let's just say that, you know, we're living in a 14 by 80 mobile home right now. And I plan to not be much bigger than that. I think that's 1400 or 1200 square feet. One or the other, I can't do math on camera. It does not ever, ever work out good for me. <laughs> um, a big shop is where it's at. That's it. That fix it guy. A big shop is where it's at, brother. Um, wasn't your first video about the sharpening the bush hog blades? Yep, sure was. Sure was. Um, so, guys, I'm going to roll out of here. I thank you all so very much. You are the reason that I'm here. I thank you. I thank you. I'm so glad to be able to do these live streams with you. I can't wait for the three videos that are coming out this weekend. If you haven't noticed a pattern, typically Thursday around 4 p.m. in the afternoon is when I'll release the video Saturday morning and Sunday morning. And if I can, I'll work in a live stream on Wednesday and I'll do a Tool Tuesday on Tuesday. So if I can work them all in, as the summertime gets here and the weather gets better, we're going to have more content, more stuff coming out, and it's going to be super fun. When it gets dark at 9 o'clock at night, it means Josh has more time to be out working on the farm, building stuff, showing stuff, and filming stuff, and having a good time. So that's what it's all about. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Made in America series where we traveled around the country. And we've got one more factory that we visited that we're going to be showing. And that is the Swisher factory for Swisher mowers. And Swisher makes a lot of stuff. I mean, holy cow. You guys will really enjoy that video. They also make a storm shelter. Uh, that's It's called EP... Uh, hang on. EPS. Emergency... ESP. <laughs> Emergency Security Preparedness Safety Shelter. Uh, you can find that at Swisher.com, I do believe. So that thing's pretty awesome. I can't wait to show one of those on the farm, like a tornado shelter. I don't know if you guys know any of the history of Stoneville, North Carolina, where we live, but a tornado ripped through here and tore apart the town. Uh, I think it was in 1998, I want to say. So anyway, that's what's going on today, guys. Thanks a lot. Please, before you roll out of here, pound that like button. See if we can get it up to 400 likes. What? 400. Be part of that. Be part of that. Thank you all so very much for all the super chats, all the new channel members that came today. This has been an awesome live stream. This is probably the best live stream I've ever had, and it was an interesting topic to, to tackle. Um, I want to thank you all so very much for being here. Um, hope to see you again next week. I hope to do another live stream sometime between 8 and 9 o'clock, unless I can get it in early uh, on Wednesday. So turn on your notifications before you roll out the door so you get a notification when we go live, and we're going to get to 400 likes before we bounce out of here. So 
Pound it up. Keep it rolling. Let's see what happens. Don't leave yet. Get her done. <laughs> 372. 373. <laughs> Who wants to do it? I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. I think everybody in here is already 374, 76. Can we make it? If you're just joining us, we're trying to get to 400 likes. <laughs> uh, we've already talked about how to grow your YouTube channel. If you're thinking about starting a channel to help support your farm or to help share your life or to help to even have a record of what your place was like when you moved there and then what it's like now and documenting projects that you're doing, even if it's just for you and just for fun. It's something super fun and super special. How many puppies? Uh, says Mark J. Uh, seven puppies. She had eight total. One did not make it. Uh, past the womb, I guess. It, it, it was uh, stillbirth. 393 likes. I know everybody wants to be the number 400, so hit it. Come on. Bring it. 94. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> copyright. I hope I don't get copyright for that. Adam Sandler. <laughs> uh, 398. Three, four hundred. Woohoo! Whoever was four hundred, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. I've got to go eat supper. It's nearly nine. It's nine eleven p.m. Uh, my wife's on her way home. I've got to go eat my supper. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you. I uh, can't wait to share the videos this weekend. It's gonna be a good time. See you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm, guys. All right. Woo! <laughs>